Hello again, this is Madan. In the previous demo, we implemented our notification feature and in this demo, we are going to fix the small issues, issue that we are having right at the moment with our notification system. So let's first uh, uh, see what the uh, issue is and then we will fix that. So here I'm logged in as the test one, test at the red gmail.com and right at the moment I have no notification. So now I'm going to open the new incognito window and uh, and then i'm going to log in as another user so let's say test1 at the gmail.com now if i go to my pet then i have my pet is dog now if i go to the another user then in my watch list i have added the dog so when the when this user changes the status then i should get some notification and uh, before doing that uh, let's uh, i want to so i want to show you the another user uh, who has added the dog to their watch list other than uh, test at the red gmail.com so let's log out from this and let's log in again and login as another user and if i click on my watch list then i have dog and rabbit so whenever the owner of this pet changes the status then uh, this user and the test at the red gmail.com should get the notification so i'm logging out and i want to log in as the another user test one at the red gmail.com and now I'm gonna go over to my pet, click on and change the selling status. So I have changed the selling status. Let's again change it so that we get the two notifications. So I have changed it. Now let's log out and uh, I'm gonna log in as another user. And here I have got the two notifications. So if I click on this, then I get that the test one at the gmail.com is selling their pet and is not selling their pet. And if I go to this user and refresh the browser, then here also I have got the two notifications because I have added that because the pet is in my watch list. So, so far so good. We get the notification whenever the owner of the pet changes the status of their pet. But now at the moment, uh, the both notification of this user test at the gmail.com has not been read so that the bo uh, both notifications are displaying here and uh, here also so if i click on one of the notification then that uh, that notification read status is going to change and and that notification will hide from here so let's click on this and i'm going to click on this first notification and now that notification status had changed to read and that's why that is uh, not displaying here but if i go to this user and refresh the page then we see that the notification of this user has also been read so this is the issue and let's go over back to the uh, our implementation details so if we go to our notification class then we have a is read property here set to false and in our notification class there is no user id so in order to track which user notification has been read we need to have the user id associated with that class but in notification we have no user id so that when the, any of the notification status is changed to read then all user all users notification uh, will get the same status so in order to fix that issue we need to move this property to the class uh, which has user id and if i go if we go to notification application user then it turns out that the, in in this class we have a user id we have a uh, application user id and notification id as well so we can fix this problem just by removing this property from notification and putting it back in notification application user so i'm going to cut this property from here for now let's cut it save it and 
let's put it here so now we have a application user id and now we can track whose users notification is read now because of this change we need to make a couple of changes so we need to go to our notification repository and now in the read notification we are going to change the status of the is read property from notification application user so we are going to get notification application user notification application user is named as user notification in our db application db context class so context that user notification the poster default and uh, we need to find out the end that application user id uh the parameter that is passed here is the notification id so let's uh, rename this for the first so the read notification it is notification id let's change this notification id and then we're gonna need user id to this property as well so the string user id and now we are going to find out the notification uh, which user id is equal to application user id and that application user id dot equals uh, user id and and dot notification id equal to equal to the notification id and uh, let's break this down into multiple lines so that we can see it better and then we set the notification that is read to true and now we are going to update that context dot user notifications dot update and then So I made a mistake here context dot user notifications dot update and we pass the notification here so let's save this and now whenever we read the uh, user notification then we need to change our where condition where you now we gonna get the notification which user id matches uh, this user id and whose status is equal to not read and u dot is read and let's reverse this so whosever notification is not read then we are going to get the notification that notification so let's save this and this fix our uh, error in <clears throat> notification repository now we're gonna go uh, to we need to go to our uh, uh, notification repository interface and change these two parameters there so let's copy this and go to notification repository and let's change this now this fixed the error in our repository now we need to fix a thing in our controller as well so whenever we read the notification we need to pass the ID of the user as well so read notification we need to pass uh, two parameter here first notification ID and then user ID and uh, we can get user ID from user manager so let's get user manager the get user ID get user ID and we can pass HTTP context dot user so this fix the error in our controller as well now we need to do one thing here whenever we need we create the notification uh, 
maybe this is it let's go over back to our pet controller and see on the method when we create the notification uh, towel selling we create notification here new notification and uh, we're gonna go to the notification repository let's go over back to the notification repository and see the create method and see if we need to make some changes there so we get the watch list and we are creating the notification and assigning that notification for every user in the watch list so this should fix our problem but uh, we have changed we have modified our model classes so now we have uh, as red property added to our notification application user and we have removed that property from our notification class so we need to generate and run the migration first in order for this to work so let's generate the migration.net app migrations add edge rate property move to notification application user class and uh, let's update the database dot net here database update now our database has been updated now let's test our notification feature i'm going to refresh the browser and uh, refresh it here as well so let's just read the notification for now let's click on this click and click now the user this user doesn't have any unread notification now let's go over here and let's refresh and we still this user has not read the notification and we still see these their notification so now the notification are independent of the user let's read let's read so this is the end of this demo and we'll continue improving our mbc application in another video series thanks for watching have a good day